regarding the um, ground support equipment or the GSC, we have uh, the flight command and control system here in the back and uh, also the dynamic test stand. There is a wired connection between the flight command and control center and the dynamic test stand and also a radio link. Let's discuss a little bit the flight command and control center. Uh, in it we have four stations in total, a station for the pilot, for the commander and uh, for two operators. Uh, there is um, a radio link, as I mentioned, between the flight command and control center and the vehicle. And also very important, the flight termination system or the FTS is uh, basically um, a radio command that uh, in case the, the vehicle is not performing nominally, is sending a radio command to the vehicle and uh, via a group of relays is uh, cutting all the commands that are sent from the flight computer to the vehicle and uh, also is sending a command to the engine's uh, main valves and these valves are immediately shut down. So uh, in case that something is not uh, right, we can stop the flight at uh, any moment. Let's uh, discuss a little bit about the dynamic test stand. This is the big uh, structure that uh, you saw in the previous episode. And in this structure, we are going to lift the vehicle at a height of around six meters, suspended in eight uh, cords. So basically, when for the first um, tethered flight, the vehicle will uh, take off while it's suspended. And why we are doing this? Because obviously, if something is wrong, we don't uh, want to hit the vehicle to the concrete pad that is at the bottom of the dynamic test stand. And we are going to check how the vehicle is um, performing the vertical takeoff and landing in the test stand. And also uh, here we are going to check uh, all the movements of the vehicle, the pitch, roll and the yaw, as well as I mentioned the um, uh, thrust uh, modulation. Now there is uh, another important element that is connected to the ground support equipment and this is the video monitoring system. Basically, we have uh, 12 uh, 4K and full HD video cameras and uh, some of them are high speed cameras and are uh, tracking the vehicle, how the vehicle is flying in the dynamic test stand. We have uh, eight uh, markings on the vehicle and uh, we will be able, based on the frame rate that uh, we are filming with, to determine the movement of the vehicle in all uh, directions during flight, beside the data that we are going to have from the inertial measurement unit. Based on the video recordings, we will be able to determine the angular speed and um, the movement of the vehicle on all uh, axes. So yeah, this is pretty much the system that uh, we have here and we are going to test in very short time. And uh, for the flight readiness review, we are going to perform uh, a lot of checks for every element that we have on the vehicle and also on the ground support system to be sure that all elements are present at the, on the vehicle or on the ground support equipment, to be sure that uh, all the elements were checked or were tested, depending from case to case, that we have the um, conformity certificates for all these uh, elements and um, to check if all elements are properly uh, tightened, the electric connections are properly secured uh, and so on. And there is a whole list of procedures that we need to go through in order to be able to have a successful flight readiness review. And also there are uh, another two important elements that I want to talk about is the procedures we need to be sure that we have all the pro the flight procedures in place and uh, these uh, procedures are going to be also checked for the flight readiness um, review and all the NCRs which means the non-conformance reports are closed and um, everything is ready for tests from the non-conformance reports points of view we had like 34 uh, NCRs and at this point 
they are all uh, closed. So yeah, that's pretty much what we need to do for the flight readiness review. It was a long episode today, but we wanted to give you a, an insight on uh, how the flight readiness review is performed at uh, ARCA.